Buari has set Nigeria 100 years back, divided Nigeria along religious and ethnic lines, Galadima. Thank God now, everybody, I don't clear. So that first time when people, they talk, say, the president is not actually doing well. The Northern has said, okay, this is a plan, you know, to make sure that they overthrow their brother. And for that reason, say they're not good green. Their brother must finish, you know, his tenor and all that. See where we are today. But thank God we have learned. But the question is, have we actually learned? Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A chieftain of the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Alaji Galadima, has taken out his time to slam President Muhammad Buhari, noting that Buhari has sent has set Nigeria 100 years back and has also divided Nigeria along religious and ethnic lines. Speaking further, Galadima accused the president, President Muhammad Buhari, of introducing bad economic uh, policies, noting that Buhari met one dollar at one, 157, but presently one dollar is equal to 800, and that is when one sees the dollar to buy. The NNPP chieftain made this disclosure on Wednesday morning when he was interviewed on Arise Television while reacting to a recent statement that was made by Femi Additional that Buari has achieved the what he, what he promised Nigerians before coming into office. Furthermore, Galadima noted that before Buari came into power in 2015, insecurity was coughing to the north, the northeast, but today, one cannot travel to any part of the country with these two with his two eyes closed, noting that if that is the kind of Nigeria additional want, he prays that God should visit him with what Nigerians are suffering. In addition, Alaji Galadima boasted, uh, blasted Nigerians, describing them as huge disappointment. He noted that instead of the masses to vote for those who will deliver them from abject poverty, they choose to vote for those who have given them one Indomie and 1,000 Naira, urging them to wait so as to reap the harvest of their investments. Meanwhile, he also said that Kwan Kwaso has facts that can get Tunubu's election cancelled, but he refused to go to court. Many people have wondered why the presidential candidate of the NNPP Rabi Kwan Kwasu did not challenge the results of the election in court. After his party complained that its name and logo were excluded from ballot buses during the election. However, a chieftain of the NNPP, Baba Galadima, has stated that Kwan Kwasu is better equipped to challenge the victory of APC Bola Tinubu in the election. He said Kwan Kwaso had enough proof to get the election cancelled, but he did not go to court because he did not want that to happen. About 19.00 minutes into a video shared on YouTube by Arise News, Galadima said you asked a question about why Kwan Kwaso did not go to court. If there is anybody that can go to court successful and challenge the mandate of the APC, it is the NNPP. Anybody that have voted in this country has never seen the word NNPP on the ballot papers. That is exclusion and it is enough to cancel that election. Our logo was not recognized and you cannot even clearly identify what it is. Since 1999, about 34 million Nigerians always vote, but this time less than 20 million Nigerians voted. Our claim is that 
the balance of those who did not vote did not vote because they did not see the name or logo of Kwan Kwaso's party. So if we can go to court and destroy the election, who is the beneficiary? Nigeria must move forward. And we also know that there are a lot of people that are waiting on the wings for the past one year to establish an interim national government. We don't want to give them an opportunity, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? The chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Alaji Baba Babu Galadima, has taken out his time to slam President Muhammad Buhari, noting that Buhari has set Nigeria 100 years back and also divided Nigeria along religious and ethnic lines. Speaking further, Galadima accused President Buhari of introducing bad economic policies, noting that Buhari made $100 at 157 Naira, but presently $1 is equal to 800 and that is when one sees the dollar to buy. The NNPP chieftain made this disclosure on Wednesday, on Wednesday morning when he was interviewed on a rise television while reacting to a recent treatment that was made by Femi Additional. A recent statement, I beg your pardon, that was made by Femi Additional that Bari has achieved what he promised Nigerians before coming to office. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.